Hello everyone, I'm Crumbs and we're playing in the long dark. We have just reached uh, this community house and found out that there's been a plane crash in the area. I actually see a water bottle here. Let's grab that. Okay, there is a back room here. No, it's just a stage. Piano. That's a ladder. Yeah, I guess we can't go there. Well, so we have looked into all these people. Um, one person, this one, he needs insulin. So let's see what Father Thomas says. I've had a look at the survivors. Most are in fairly good condition given the circumstances. These were the lucky ones. You'll find the ones who were less fortunate in the basement. May God take mercy on their souls. They died from their injuries or were found dead. We put them downstairs to keep the bodies cold. And also, well, there are wolves around, you see. Yes, I've seen them. I think I can find most of what these survivors need. But there is a diabetic in the group. They're gonna need insulin and soon. Do you know where I might find some? That's bad news. No, I don't. This survivor has type 1 diabetes. That means their body can't produce insulin. If they don't get it, they'll eventually go into shock and probably die. Well, then we need to find some. And soon, before the blizzard becomes too powerful to even risk going outside. I need to remain with the survivors, minister to them. But you, you can go and look for the medicine they need. I will. Any suggestions you have would be very useful. Most of the surrounding houses will be empty. But you may find some of the minor supplies you need to treat the survivors. The diabetic came in from the plane crash. A day, maybe two days ago. So, your best chance to find their insulin will probably be to find their luggage at the crash site. Well, how will I know which luggage is theirs? You'll have to search everything you find and hope for the best. Okay, you keep an eye on everyone and I'll be back as soon as I can. Thank you for your help. One more thing. Yes? Many of these survivors are in bad shape. From the crash, it's true. But I've seen this sort of thing before. People need hope to survive. And if they can't have hope, they need some closure. People here, many of them weren't traveling alone. They're brokenhearted, worried sick about their loved ones feeling guilty. Why did they survive when others didn't? You can help them find some closure. But chances are searching the crash site won't be a pleasant experience. I've seen death before. Yes, you're a doctor, so you understand the fragility of human life. The fragility of the human spirit is more my domain. For the ones who've lost loved ones, if you can bring them some closure, that will help to start their healing process. Yes, it's well known that the mind and body are inextricably linked. If you encounter any artifacts, any information that would help to identify those who did not survive the crash, that information might be a salve to these poor broken souls then perhaps they'll have a chance to face tomorrow. I'll do what I can to find IDs, documents, anything that can help identify the people who didn't make it. In turn, take this, my child. Oh, um, I'm, I'm not religious. Please, keep it. It's not for you. Please, humor me. I, 
concept I don't understand. At least until I can minister to those souls myself. Having you carry this rosary while you investigate the crash site, it would bring an old priest some comfort. It will be the closest thing to my being able to pray for them. I mean, no disrespect, Father, but do you really believe this will help? Perhaps in the end, faith is all we have. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, okay. so the crash site is way up there. Fallen star located down airliner. Okay, so we have, okay, th what's that? Tell of the Sasquatch. Okay, so there's the Bigfoot. That is pretty close, actually. But I guess main is to get to the airliner and find insulin. So we need to, we need more, we need better clothing. What? The phone was here, right? So far, yeah. But there are people in town who won't be if I don't get going. You heading up to the plane crash? How'd you know that? You risked your life to come here to help some sick people. You came to help me when I was stuck in the barn. You're a doctor. You're not gonna leave a bunch of crash survivors to die in the cold. I would like to help the crash victims, yes. <sighs> Wouldn't get your hopes up. A few days in this weather and with the wolves prowling? <sighs> Doubt you'll find anyone alive out there. Let's hope you're wrong. Yeah, well, I left you a little present. Look, I'm not sure. Relax. You have to trust someone, right? Would you trust someone with a dead body in their basement? Fair point. But if you want to live, check out the trunk of that blue sedan over by the swing set. Well, okay. Thanks, I guess. Watch out for those wolves. <coughs> Yeah, speaking of wolves. Can I? No, I can't equip that in here, so let's do it outside. I want to reload, because I don't think I did that. Or maybe I don't have more bullets, too. No, it was full. What? Where are the wolves? I hit him. Shoot from the hip. Timberwolf morale. Timberwolf packs have morale indicated by the meter. Timberwolf morale can be broken by shooting or throwing things at him. Packs with broken morale will flee. Okay, flare is good. Let's get outside here and we can maybe we can shoot. Yeah, we definitely need better clothes. It's quite dark in here. Summit soda. There's nothing there. Beef jerky. Tomato soup. Sardines. Well, there's some food here. Oh, that's good. An energy drink. That could come in handy. There's water. I'll take it. Ooh, rifle cartridge. Oh, we need a primer. New drinks. No. <laughs> I don't want to shoot the microwave. What is that? Tomato soup. That is leave. 
Do we have anything behind the counter here? This stuff will come in handy. Accelerant, lantern fuel. Yeah, we actually found a lantern in uh, the basement of the first house we were in, Moe's house. So we don't need that. Yeah, we are almost full now, so actions. Let's review. Yeah, we still have some left. Uh, where are we? We're here. So, nothing behind the counter that I can see. The lost cave. Strange cave throughout the existed part. Martins of Pleasant Valley. Write the passage for the new younger folk who remained in Pleasant Valley during recent years. Hunting for the cave was one way to seek refuge from the reality of religion's extreme isolation. The way to leave without leaving. Okay. Not many books, we don't need that. And the search the register. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Okay, so let's continue. I wanna get inside the houses. Uh, for better clothing. There's a car. That looks empty. I'll reload this. So I saw that there were some houses over here. So let's check on them. There's one there. Okay, there's one there as well. Let's start to the right. Window, no, nothing there. Yeah, let's grab out it. We're probably gonna need to leave, drop off a bunch of things when we're done. Yeah, I don't really think we need all that much food. So let's just have a quick look here. Clothing that is the most interesting. So, okay, we're interested. We're gonna grab everything, and then we uh, will harvest the clothes we're not gonna use, and then we can repair. Okay, here's something. A sport vest. That's empty. We can. How long? Six minutes. That's worth. It. Um, let's grab that one as well. Okay, I'm not carrying too much. And it's getting a little darker, so... Well, it's actually getting a lot of dark. So let's use that one. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Six minutes. So we'll try and go through all the houses during today, and then we sleep, and then we head on toward the plane crash tomorrow morning. So we got water here, I guess. So how is the clothing? What do we got? We need more jackets. We have two of these. This is worse. So let's let's. Uh, we're gonna harvest that one. 20 minutes. Uh, yeah, why not? Yeah, this is worse. 25 minutes. No, harvest. 10 minutes. This is really crap, we don't have anything else. And I have two layers of jeans. So 
this is lighter, but it's not better. So let's leave that. Yeah, head on to the next house. Enter there. Okay, nice another house. Doesn't look like we can enter this one either. So let's head over to the other houses. Okay, that looks like there is some small cabin by the lake. Don't break the ice. I don't want to get wet now. Whoa! Now that is something we need. Okay, so we need to drop off some things. We got. That is okay. Do we need all that wood? We also have coal. Yeah, let's drop that. That is heavy. Yeah, we don't need that. Uh, okay, we have a lot of stuff. There. Do we have anything that we don't... Yeah, we don't wear those, but they don't weigh anything. We have antiseptics. And there's not much left of that. And then we have this. Three kilos of coal. Yeah, we, let's drop seven. So we have four left. We have one kilo of that. We have one and a half kilo of those. And let's drop four. Accelerant is good. Uh, yeah, let's drop that. And we don't need all of these matches. Well, they don't really weigh anything, but. Let's do it anyway. So, 30, still 2 kilo. So we have, yeah, the cloth and the bandages. Gonna need. Do we, since we have, we have the rifle, but we don't have all that many bullets. We don't need that, I guess. Do we? Yeah, maybe we need. Yeah, that's crap. We throw everything that is in crappy condition. Oh, maybe we can eat this. No, we have plenty of water though, but I want to keep... Yeah, we, we got to stick with this. We are starting to get a little tired. It looks like a church. So here are this. Oh, is this his car she was talking about? Some more help from Molly. Ah, uh, Marie Claire. Oh, there it is. Work. Yep, let's go through these houses as well. What's this? Thompson Crossing Church. Books. Water is good. Another book, another book. Cotton scarf. What are we here? Mittens, matches. Pleasant Valley history doesn't weigh anything. Okay, so I guess this is it. Okay, 
that. Can I kill that quick? Oh, that's for Rom. Yeah, we need to uh, insert clothing. Well, we don't have usually food in the kitchen. Antiseptic, we already have that. That is lantern fuel. We need that. Books, bench, another book. Let's leave the house. So do we have a bedroom? Yeah. And please find some clothing. Just have jeans at the moment. Let's grab some more water. Don't need that, but let's. Well, this stuff will come in handy. Yeah, I guess we're done on this house. And let's see if we can empty the other houses or if. Um, they're boarded up like some of the house on the other side was. Okay, that is. Can't even have to that one. Yeah, there's some food there. That is locked. Those doesn't look like houses, right? Oh, is that a pry bar? Yeah, we definitely need that. <laughs> yeah, let's skip the that for now. And it's warm inside here, so let's go through these drawers. Nobody then needs I this anymore. I think I need to repair some clothing and decide what to wear. And then I'll sleep a little bit, and then we will head for the crash. Ah, look at that. Cargo pants. This will come in handy. Yep, yeah, a lot of clothing. That's what we want. Here's something. Ah, uh, finally. Yeah, it looks good. Let's, no. I'm not going to be able to carry this load for much longer. Yeah, I know. I'm going to sort that up very soon. Sewing kit. We need that to repair. We're going to break that down. Uh, right in there. We'll probably have water here. Yeah, let's grab everything. Okay guys, I think it's uh, time to make a cut here and I will uh, go through the clothing and repair everything we need for the journey to the crash site and then it's sleep time. So thank you very much for watching, see you next time, bye bye.